Hello friends. Today I'd like to read you Phoebe Gilman's adaptation of the Jewish folktale, Something from Nothing. This is a very famous Jewish folktale and it's actually a common story in many cultures. So let's see if you enjoy it. While we're reading this friends, we see that there's two stories going on. There's a story between the family in the story and the town that it's a part of. And also this family of mice. You'll see, friends, that every time the family in the story creates something with their fabric, the mice get a little fabric too. So that's something fun to look for. Also, pay attention to the things that are happening in the town around the family. Okay, here we go. Something from nothing. Ad adapted from a traditional Jewish folktale. This is Joseph and his grandfather. Phoebe Gelman dedicated this book to someone special in her family. It says, for Irving Hirshhorn, our uncle, we remember you with love. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket. Let's see. See the facts of scra the scraps of fabric coming? A wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. So he runs to his grandfather, who has a tailor shop. He prepares clothing and garments. And the family lives right behind the shop. And upstairs lives Joseph and his family. His father repairs shoes. We see what else is going on in the town. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play, just like the mouse family. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day, Joseph's mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small. Doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. So he's running to the grandfather who seems to have someone in his shop. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. Look, here's the mice at school too. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Oh, look at the mics. Look at all the fabric they've had now. Here's someone on the street selling food. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday night. Friends, the family every Friday night is welcoming the Jewish Sabbath, which is a special evening meal and a special time for Jewish people to celebrate rest from work. And that's what Joseph is doing. He's there with his grandparents at the Shabbat table. That's what the, the evening is called. 
Joseph's father, but as Joseph's tie, as Joseph grew older, his wonder for tie grew older too. Here he's washing it. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the ends of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, said Joseph. Let's take a look at what's happening with the family here too. The little sister's growing older. The mother's working outside and somebody's coming in to see the father fixing shoes and the mouse family is so taken care of. And here somebody is outside selling parrots or using a parrot to sell something. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's splotched and it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Grand Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and he took the, to the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here. Before we get to that, I want to point out that there's somebody on the street using a spinning wheel to sew um, thread, which is pretty amazing to create thread. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to keep his pants up. But one day, Joseph's mother said, Joseph, where is your button? <gasps> Joseph looked. It was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. Look, he's, it's an emergency. My button, my wonderful button is lost, Joseph said. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid your mother is right. We'll give it to sisters trying to comfort him. That's a big disappointment. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. Friends, wasn't that amazing? Every time Joseph lost something or his mother thought it wasn't quite as in good shape as it could be, he and his grandfather found a way to reinvent it. And then friends, we always have the ability to tell a story even when we don't have our things with us. I hope you have enjoyed reading Phoebe Gelman's version of Something from Nothing. And I hope you have a wonderful day and take very good care of yourself. Now go do something good.